So you have a URDF file for a robot and you want to visualize the TF or the transforms for that robot. Now, how can you do that easily without configuring and setting up too many things? And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So first of all, you have to have a URDF file. Here, I'm going to use one that's going to be installed with one uh, package here that I'm going to show you. And to see the TFs on RVs, well, you would need to create a launch file and start the robot state publisher and some other stuff. But there is one package you can install. And I'm going to do that right now with sudo apt install. So ros dash the distribution. So from its humble, but just pick the distribution that you have. And then urdf dash tutorial. So you can install this package. All right, let's install it and from it's already installed. Now to be able to use it, make sure you source your environment. So either your bash RC or directly. So apt ROS. So humble for me, but of course for you, it's going to be the distribution that you use and then setup.bash. All right. And why I installed this package is because it's going to allow us to see the TF for a URDF with just one command line. Okay. So now you go to the directory where you have your URDF. If you don't have a URDF and you just want to follow a tutorial, you can go on opt, so slash opt ROS, and then distribution humble. And then we're going to go to share, which is where you have, as you can see, uh, a lot of packages with lots of stuff inside. And let's do clear here. We're going to go to the URDF tutorial repository. And inside we have URDF. Okay, and here we have some existing URDFs. I'm going to use the, well, I'm going to use this one. It's called 7physics.urdf. And it contains an already existing robot. So how to launch it on RVs and see the TF? It's pretty easy. You do ROS to launch URDF tutorial. And then you have a launch file called display.launch.py. Make sure you use the auto completion here to check that it's correctly working. Okay, because if it doesn't work with the auto completion, it means you have not correctly set up your environment. So ROS2 launch URDF tutorial display.launch.py. And then we're going to provide an argument here called model colon equal. And you're going to put the path to the URDF. So what you need to do is to put the exact, so the absolute path. So I'm just going to take this here slash and you can also use the auto completion here. Okay, so make sure you provide the exact path to the URDF. I'm going to press enter. And as you can see now, I have, so this is a R2D2 robot. Okay, you can see with lots of uh, links, lots of joints. And this is what you're going to get when you run your uh, URDF with this URDF tutorial package. Okay, so that's quite convenient. I have the robot here. You can visualize the robot model. Okay, so you can see this is going to be the physical, the rigid physical parts. And then the TF. TF are going to be the relationship between all the parts. And this is what's really interesting for us. Okay, so you can just visualize this and you can add the TF on top. So just quickly on the robot model, you can click here and then you have the links. Okay, and you can see that you have all the different links. So usually you have the first one that's going to be the base link can enable, disable, and then all of the links for the different parts of the robot. And I'm going to disable it for now. And then you have the TFs. So TF will be the joints that you define in a URDF. And for this, well, you can see each TF will be represented by an axis here. So how does it work? It follows the right hand rule. Okay. So going forward, you have the X axis in red. And then 90 degrees to the left, you have the Y axis in green and going up the Z axis in blue. Okay. So this is the convention in ROS. Now you can go down here on TF. You have the different frames. Okay. You can well, enable, disable some of them. And you also have the tree. Okay. So you can see from the basing, we have the gripper, uh, head, left leg, right leg, etc. And then you have the tree that you can visualize here for all the TF. So you can see the TF is very important. It's actually the relationship between 
two rigid parts, so between two links of the robot. So let's say you have here we have an origin for the base link. This would be uh, the right leg, I think. So you can see that this here is the relationship, which means there is a translation here on the y axis and on the z axis. And uh, uh, well, not, not on the x axis, but you can see this is where this frame is relative to that frame. And it's not just that, it's also how they move relative to each other. Okay, you can see I can move stuff here. So here's the rotation. Okay, uh, we have, as you can see here, we have a translation. And then when you put back the uh, robot model, you can see it means that the parts are going to move between each other. Okay, so here we have rotation. It's a rotation, a rotation here as well. So sometimes the parts are rigid. For example, here, this, this frame here is not going to move because it's fixed, but the wheel here is going to move. If I go down, the head, you can see, can rotate. So this is how you can visualize TF for a URDF. You run with the URDF tutorial with display.launch.py. You provide the path to the URDF with the model argument. And then here, you can click on, so you can select the TF and the robot model, and you can see all the TF. You can make them move if you want. And an additional thing you can do, so let's keep this open. Let's open a new terminal. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my home directory here. And let's do ROS2 run TF2 tools. So you might actually install it with sudo apt install ROS humble TF2 tools, like that. You install that first, then you source, and then you can do ROS2 run TF2 tools with view frames. So while, uh, of course, the TFs are still running here. And let's wait for five seconds. It's going to create a PDF. Okay, so lots of logs, but basically it's going to create a PDF. So I'm in my home directory. Let's go back to here. And I have frames PDF here. And you can see, so it's quite big. But this is the um, this is the tree here. Yeah. This is the tree of the TF. So with this, you have extra info, and you can actually visualize it even better. So you can see that from the base link, for example, we have the right leg, and then from the right leg, we have the right base, and then we have the right front wheel. So this is the way to go from the base link to the right front wheel. Okay, and you have all of the different relationships here. So with this. And with Arvis, you should be able to correctly visualize the TF for any robot. All right, that's the end of this quick tutorial. And if you want to go further, if you want to learn more about TF, and also if you want to create your own URDF, configure it in a ROS2 package, and also simulate it in Gazebo, well, I have a complete course just for you, which contains more than nine hours of video content. So you can check out the link in the description. All right, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.